Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, I welcome you this morning for this episode of Tips to Study the Bible. Until yesterday we completed five tips and today I would like to take a portion of study applying all these five steps. Then we will continue for the next deeper tips where we can study more of the word of God. So today I have taken a portion for your case study and I request you to thoroughly study this portion after listening to this episode and then come out with your uh, notes that can help you in future. I have taken from Luke's gospel chapter 9 from verses 10 to 62 until the end of that chapter. And uh, to give you the brief introduction of this passage is, if I connect with those five steps of tips of Bible study, the final point that we studied says the theme of the portion. And this theme of the, uh, this portion's theme is how a follower of Christ should build his being habits and what are those being habits or the being habits must be in a follower of Jesus Christ. Now we will analyze this already fifth point is theme is how a follower or what are the characteristics or being habits must be possessed by a believer. Then we were going to see the points uh, that uh, staying in the characters of each person in that uh, portion and then we will come for other passages. Now the whole book is talking about Jesus Christ and I have taken one portion from there from Luke's gospel chapter 9 verse 10 where Jesus reaches Bethsaida that is near the Galilee, Sea of Galilee and then 60, until 62nd verse we find that Jesus moves from Bethsaida to Jerusalem and within that span of time what happened there that we are going to study. Remember this gospel is written by Luke to Theophilus. It is written to that one man about the whole systematic layouts of the events that happened in the life of Jesus Christ. So within this span of time many things happen there and all are connected with the being habits of disciples of Jesus. One is from verses 10 to 17 we see Jesus feeding 5,000 people. That means Jesus is saying a believer follower must have attitude or habit of being compassionate and loving to the people of God. And second we see from 18th verse to 27th verse, there Peter confesses that Jesus Christ is the Lord, the son of the living God. That means a follower of Jesus must have a being habit of making the Lord Jesus as his Lord and Savior for everything that happens or does in his life. And the third is from verses 28 to 36 we see there Jesus' countenance changed or transformed which we call as Mount of Transfiguration which means a follower or a disciple must have the image of Christ in his life. He should be like Jesus Christ, carrying the glory of the Son of God. And the fourth one is verses 37 to 42, where Jesus heals the epileptic son, whom his disciples could not heal. And there he comments, that ye of little faith. That means the disciples must be in a position to express their faith in the Lord in the times of crisis, in times of challenges, rather being fearful. Then we see the next portion in that passage is verses from 43 to 45, where Jesus second time confesses about his death, burial and resurrection, which means a disciple must have a character or a kind of attitude even to give life for them that love God or for the church of God. And then we see the next portion that speaks about 
uh, verses 46 to 48 he directly says his disciples to be humble like children that means humility is the most important being habit should be possessed by his followers then we see in from verses 49 and 50 somebody was ministering in the name of jesus christ and baptizing in the name of jesus christ disciples comes and say you tell us that we will chase them out or something they were not happy with those others ministering but jesus says there if they are doing the ministry or baptizing the people in my name then they are not against us they are for us that means we should not be people who exclude from one another but we must include everyone who is serving the lord in the name of jesus christ and then finally we see from 51 to 62 it is a journey of jesus from bethsaida to jerusalem here again we find another two disciples come on the way uh, one says uh, uh, that jesus uh, to jesus that he will follow him but jesus says foxes have holes but i don't have anything i'll read it for you that portion later and then another person jesus says follow me but this person says i have something to do go to go home and i have to bury my father and then come back in these two one person is trying to ask and get favor of jesus to follow him for his own financial benefits or comforts or his material requirements believing that if i follow jesus all these things will come to me but jesus saying say, saying i don't have for myself why you want to follow me and the other one jesus says you follow me because he has the love for jesus but though he loves jesus at he has some other priorities in his life his mother his father or somebody is at home family members then christ for him he says you follow me rest of will be taken care of by those people so these things should not be there in a followers life so in connection with this i would like to read the few scriptures about this last two disciples in verse 51 he says now it came to pass when the time had come for him to be received up and he steadfastly set his face to go to jerusalem and sent messengers before his face and they went they entered in village of samaritans to prepare for him but they did not receive him because his face was set for the journey to jerusalem now these are in the journey where they started from bethsaida and they're on the way to jerusalem but in between they have come here in samaria samaria and the disciples wanted to prepare a stay at night in that place but they did not receive them receive jesus or them and uh, that's why they have to carry on their journey all through the night was 54 says and when he his disciples james and john saw this they said lord do you want us to command fire to come down from heaven and consume them just as elisa did but he turned and rebuked them and said you do not know what manner of spirit you are of for the son of man did not come to destroy men's lives but to save them and they went to another village now it happened as they journeyed on the road that someone said to him lord i will follow you wherever you go and jesus said to him foxes have holes and birds have their air have nests but the son of man has nowhere to lay his head jesus is saying birds foxes they have the place but i don't have the place even to lay my head most of the time this scripture is quoted in a wrong context saying jesus was so poor he did not have anything dear brothers and sisters there is no connection between the poverty or riches of jesus christ in this text jesus is not talking about his financial status or property status here he is on journey he could not stay that night in that place and this man wanted to follow him 
for that kind of benefits so jesus said i myself don't have on this journey how can i provide you so this is the reason we have to study standing in the shoes of each person now the very next scripture says then he said to another follow me one more person came and jesus tells him follow me because this person was not after material things but that man he said lord let me first go and bury my father that's what i told he was his priority was more his family members than jesus himself so these are the qualities or the being habits that jesus was expecting in the followers and he was teaching in this span of time when he reached from bethsaida until he reached jerusalem so what we understand here is if we look at this passage we never come to these kind of conclusions but when we stand in the shoes of these people and the events that whole club together when we make it a notes on the club you know each one's shoes uh, uh, meanings out then we come to this conclusion because we saw from 910 to 962 there are few these things about nine things that uh, 10 things jesus mentions there one is com- being compassionate secondly they must have the lordship of jesus christ in their lives third they must have the life of image express image of jesus in their lives and the fourth one is they have to express faith irrespective of the situation and the fifth is they should be willing to lay their own life for the cause of christ and uh, they should be humble enough they must serve inclusive of other servants with them and uh, uh, ninth one is they should not be after money and the 10th one they should not be after priority should not be other than jesus christ this whole theme shows the theme of this whole study comes to that being habits of the disciples or followers of jesus christ anyway we see jesus in this so all five steps have happened here the whole book is about one person the passage we read is one portion from bethsaida to jerusalem one period of time in that these were the characters we saw in each character one kind of being habit jesus was demanding and finally the theme was totally a believer should be like this and we see christ in all these things dear brothers and sister i encourage you take this video and make your own study if you are willing to give testimony you are free enough to give the testimony through emails which come on the scroll or you can uh, send us on whatsapp the number is there and again you can go to the youtube and subscribe our channel and you can comment too you are free enough to receive the information because we are here for to serve you and to pray for you and to help you in equipping yourself in the lord jesus christ god bless you we'll meet in next episode thank you